right here we have the seat shots all ready. Um, if you want a tutorial on that, leave, let me know in the comments down below. But it's basically the purple corn and you add some lime to it to add some zest, some flavor, and sugar to sweeten it up. Over here, this is what I brought from Peru. I think it's illegal to bring, but I brought it anyways. It's ciruela seca. This is like a must because right now we're gonna make masa morra with this right here. Okay, so the ingredients for the masa morra are of course purple corn and this is um, this is something that I picked up from the Peruvian aisle at my local grocery. So go to the Peruvian aisle, see Peru. Um, then you use one whole apple that we're gonna chop up in a bit. <laughs> you need a lime. We have here ciruela seca that I brought from Peru. Bomb. And the canela. This is basically cinnamon sticks. Oh, and last but not least, since my family likes diabetes, sugar. So um, normally you do add pineapple to this, but we don't have any at the moment, but that's always optional. You can cut it up, cut it into like tiny pieces like yay big, and it's gonna turn out bomb. For our rice pudding, Peruvian style, the arroz con leche, you're gonna need the sweet condensed milk, evaporated milk, that's what you use this for, the cinnamon sticks, and yeah, that's what's cooking right here. And last but not least, organic whole milk. You want the organic, because yes, there is a big difference in the taste. Oh, and last, 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 but not least, <laughs> butter. You're gonna need butter. So all of this is gonna be cooked over here. And then for the finale, I'm gonna have my whole family try out the recipe and see if they liked it or not. And they're gonna give me their honest opinions. So right now what we're doing is we're taking out the cinnamon sticks that basically extracted. It's like a flavor out to the rice. adding about a cup and a half of sugar okay to taste depending how sweet of a tooth you guys have
way into boil. Oh, you want it to boil? Mm -hmm. Okay, now this is when you want it to boil. It's looking so good. So this is basically a compliment to the arroz con leche. It's kind of like peanut butter and jelly. You kind of need them both. You can't eat one without the other. Like you can, but it complements one another very, very like good. So take my word for it and try it. So you want to cook this on high heat and you're going to know when it's ready when it starts like bubbling. And that means that the potato starch is finally like cooking and it's settling into the masa mora. For some acidity, you're gonna add some lime. Not a lemon, a lime. Half, Half a lime. Okay. What color you're gonna get with the lime is gonna be very shiny, pretty. It's gonna look good, it's gonna taste good, inside and out. So we're going to let this settle in for two minutes and then it's going to be in our tummy. So you see the bubbles? That's how you know that the cornstarch is finally being cooked. It's really loud in here. I have my whole family. That's how you know it's a Peruvian household. I got my mom over there because every time we eat, we wash and then we eat again and then we wash and then we eat again. So we don't stop eating. We got the cousin that's unsocial. We got the cousin that's very social. We got the dog that sleeps on the carpet. <laughs> I'm kidding, you're very social. He's just very quiet and tired. You're tired? Well, we fell asleep last night like at 3.30. Say hi to my YouTubers. 3.30? Yeah, we fell asleep at 3.30. 40, never mind, four update. Don't make me look that bad, come on. Guys, this is the final product. This is how you eat it, one against another, unless you want it separate, or you're not really having a sweet tooth that day, but like I said, it's Peruvian dessert. You can have it at a party, make it at home when your whole family's gathering, or if you're bored and if you're hungry and you're craving this, that's when you eat it. But yeah, your reviews, comments, concerns. Ooh. Do you know that? Oh, you heard it from Matilia herself. Oh, look at that. See, that's how you, that's the consistency you want in the masa mora. You want it to be thick, but not too thick. Looks like a bomb. Looks like a bomb. Ma! What? How is it, Mom? Good. No, that's so so. Very good. Very good. Amen. Tio. Comments. Oh. So, we had a good sale today. <laughs> Almost one on the right. Still eating here because I'm very talkative. <laughs> the diet lady. Yeah, my mom. So my mom's on a diet trying to eat like no rice for like a whole month or something. And I see, what is that? Come on, it's rice. You broke your diet. <laughs> yeah, it was a promise. No, it was a promise. Yeah, it was a promise. Oh, another thing about the masa mora, it does stain, so be careful. Do not wear white like my tia. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you're whitening your teeth, you know. <laughs> Eat it with a straw. <laughs> After one plate, you got your second plate? Sure. It's like once in a lifetime. 